So another thing that I found online was um, a interesting site. I don't really remember why I found this or where I found this. I've tried to get back to this site. And it was a support group, I guess, for people. All right. People eat prunes, right? <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. People eat apricots, though, because they taste good, right? Now, they do similar things to you. <laughs> so the difference is apricots, dried apricots, actually taste good. Prunes don't. <laughs> so this is a support group for people who, sitting in front of the Super Bowl, had a bag of apricots, just going, <laughs> not knowing what was going to happen. <laughs> and this website was just about these people relating with each other. <laughs> Telling their unique stories of how they discovered the wonders of dried apricots. Now, if I eat five, I'm good to go. But this one poor guy from Texas, I think, thank God that's a big state. Otherwise, I would have been able to... <laughs> He had like 35 of these, <laughs> not knowing what was going to happen inside his stomach after all that happened. He, all of his neighbors moved away. I mean, it was terrible, okay? Just really, really bad stuff. Okay, so, I mean, when you're having problems with digestion, I mean, what do you do? All right, last term I was having problems with digestion. It was like second week, second week, okay? I, I had some problems. Um, I couldn't go to sleep. There was a lot of pain. Pain is funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not funny. Come to Carl. <laughs> so the thing is, <laughs> uh, <sighs> okay, just had to clear my retinas. <laughs> um, so my digestion system was really, really acting up. I couldn't go to sleep. I went to the dining hall. I couldn't do anything. I ended up puking my guts out. But I talked to my RA, and we decided that the best idea would go would be to go to the wellness center. <laughs> now, <laughs> wellness center. I don't really know what that place is. <laughs> I don't really know what they're doing in there. I got to the wellness center, and it turns out, by the way, um, that what I had was appendicitis. I had surgery later that night. Great. Knowing that, let's, let's review what happened at the wellness center. <laughs> I walk up. I'm like, I need help. <laughs> There's a nice lady sitting behind the desk, ready to calm my fears. She says, well, we've had a lot of people come in with flu-like symptoms. The best we can do is have you fill out a flu report, and you need to go back to your room. <laughs> so I take this, I like, stumble back to my room, and then I thought about like all the other things that could have happened. I could have come in with no arm. <laughs> I need help. It looks like you have the flu. Uh, you're going to need to fill out a flu report. Just get back to us. We'll keep an eye on you. <laughs> Someone had earlier stuck a key into my <laughs> So, anyway, the wellness center is not the place to go to if you have a medical emergency. You know, Carlton is full of uh, actually like pretty useless information. Um, at Burton, they put this was severe weather awareness week. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Glad we had that. I'm much more aware now. Um, there were there were little pieces of paper on the tables in Burton, um, and they said symptoms. Symptoms. I don't even know what. The symptoms of a tornado. <laughs>
Sorry. Tornado was on its way. And the last one, last one, last one is probably the most helpful. They took right down to business. Air in a swirling pattern. Oh, oh, oh. there we go. Thanks, Carl. Oh, yeah, that, that happens. Okay, I'm wrapping it up here. Sorry. I know, I know you guys have places to be with the hail out, right? I'm sure you do. Sorry, that was really awkward. I don't want to slow your social lives because I know mine is. <laughs> I'm taking intro to macroeconomics right now with Martha Potts. Woo! And I, I really like her. She's a great teacher. However, an interesting incident happened on the first day that I think is really going to color what I see as a grade. <laughs> so she's introducing economics, everything like that. She has this peculiar way of standing with her feet together like this. Like she's ready to die. <laughs> Into economics! <laughs> Go to Carlton! This is not how you dive. <laughs> so she's standing there and she decides to pull out an economics joke to loosen up the 1A crowd. <laughs> sports cars, like what are the popular sports cars these days? And so she's like, can, can you guys give me like a, a really popular sports car? And she asked the class, and the class was just like, because <laughs> <laughs> it's a one day. <laughs> so I, I said, I said, a DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, she said, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, <laughs> but we'll go with that. Okay, a DeLorean. <laughs> All right, so a man in a DeLorean <laughs> drives onto campus with a beautiful woman at its side. The rest of the class has finally woken up now. And she says, he exits the vehicle. Now, which do you expect, what do you expect this man's profession to be? A librarian or a movie star? <laughs> now, the correct answer was librarian because no one, there's no movie stars in Northfield. I mean, maybe there are, I don't know. Probably not. I, I hope, come Carl. Um, <laughs> dump, dump, you're not a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, the thing is, and no, she's like, a librarian. Think of anything except Doc from Back to the Future. Getting <laughs> out of the getting out of the DeLorean saying, Doc, Marty! 12, I don't I can't remember it. 88 point miles per hour. Shit, you're gonna see some. I'm just quoting all the back to the future. Alright, okay, alright, that's a great movie. But there's another movie. And this is the last thing I have to say. There's another movie that I recently saw. As in recently, I mean last term. And this movie was was great. I had never seen it before. It's